All right, hey guys, my name is Julian Roberts. I am a Zambian gospel artist. And um, yeah, my uh, gospel artist, uh, <laughs> this is Julian Roberts. I am a Zambian gospel artist. Um, thank you so much for voting for me on the Natives Top 5 Hottest Songs of September. Because of you guys and your awesome support, you get to see a whole goofy documentary about me. So you've brought this upon yourself, guys. Enjoy. Yeah, so um, my love for music, like the whole musical journey began in the ninth grade. Um, it was during this geography class and I was sitting with my buddy Sean and um, the class was boring, like it was boring. <laughs> Mr. Perry, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. Sean gets his pen and starts like, you know, making these beats on the table, you know, and um, the song that we came up with at the end of the entire class was a song called Bored to Tears. So it went like, uh, I'm so bored, I'm bored to tears. Bored to what? Bored to tears. It was like a very goofy kind of song. And at the end of the class, um, Sean was like, hey dude, Jerry, you can actually um, write and sing. And that was where like the whole encouragement to pursue music actually started from. I actually didn't think I would push it like, you know, further from there, but I got so much encouragement and I really discovered that I had a passion for it and yeah. That was how it all began. Yeah. Um, so that was like me back in grade nine. That's how the whole music journey began. And um, if there's one thing I have honestly discovered is that music is so powerful because I honestly believe it has this huge impact on one's very soul. Music is one of the only communication tools that's able to communicate directly into someone's soul. So that's one big thing about music. And if there's one message that I believe is able to transform someone, um, a message of love, peace, joy, it's the message of Jesus Christ. So when I got saved in 2014 at my um, home church Miracle Life, I was like, all right, cool, this is awesome. Uh, <laughs> I've just found Christ and you know, there's all these truths I'm learning about Jesus and acceptance and here I am and I still have this passion for music, you know, in the back pocket. So I'm thinking to myself, how can I incorporate, you know, my love for music and my love for Christ and eventually I started writing songs, you know, just simple songs basically talking about God's love, um, God's truths and yeah, long story short, that's how, um, Two years down the line, 20, 2016 is when I officially decided, hey, you know what, I'm gonna use my talent, I'm gonna do music, I'm gonna bless someone else to what I have because I honestly believe that every single person was blessed to be a blessing to someone else. So yeah, that's how the whole music journey started. <laughs> Yeah guys, so um, that was the whole um, background of the whole musical journey. So got saved in 2014, um, put my two passions together, music and Jesus and put them together and boom. That's how I ended up uh, deciding I would really love to do music. And one of the biggest insecurities or one of the things I've, I had to, I struggled with was trying to find out is music meant for me? You know, like I felt like all around the world, there's so many voices that will tell you, this is the norm, this is what you have to do, this is the career path you have to take. And I feel that God has designed each and every person in a specific way that if you actually operate in what you are purposed to do, then you just kill it. Like there's nothing else you would 
rather do. You know, there's, you'd bless so many people. And for me, that's the thing. I had this music urge. It'd be like, I just wanted to share what I've learned about Jesus, about God. I wanted to share that in music, you know? So one of the biggest challenges I had was deciding, am I gonna do music? Am I good enough to do music? Because quite frankly, um, I believe, <laughs> I, I didn't believe I was like, you know, like the whole um, Chris Brown, that kind of voice thing. But there's one thing that I've realized is if God has given you something, don't be scared to use it because God's able to use imper imper imperfect things. Imperfect things. God is able to use imperfect things for perfect works. Eventually, uh, 2016, I decided that I am going to do uh, music. I am going to you know, share what I'm learning about Jesus, sharing my experiences, you know, to people. It was quite a courageous, well, I think it's one of the most courageous things I've done. Yeah. And the first song I ever did was a song called um, 31, which is, it was written after Proverbs 31. And that's got a whole background behind it. Um, I went to this youth meeting and someone said, have a vision for your marriage. And I was like, oh, cool, vision for your marriage. And he encouraged us, go home, Write this love letter to your future spouse and um, long story short, that became Proverbs 31, the song 31. Um, yeah, it's basically my love letter to my future wife. Yeah, and um, the second song I, I did was a song called um, Four Letter Word. Why I did Four Letter Word is, I feel like one of the greatest needs every single person has is a need for truth, you know what I mean? truth of identity, like who we are, truth of what love looks like. And the world has got so many voices just telling you, this is what love looks like. This is what um, peace looks like. This is what happiness looks like. You know, with Kiki, do you love me? And there's so much of this um, concepts of love that are being portrayed. But then God um, says in 1 Corinthians 13 verse four, this is what love looks like. Love is patient. Love is kind, um, love keeps other people in mind. And that's what I wanted the song to share. You know, I wanted to say, guys, this is what our heavenly father is saying about love. So if we are his children, then we should really, you know, imitate our father. So that's what love looks like. Love is a decision. It's not, it's not a feeling. You have to decide to love. So the second half of the song, um, four letter word, I talk about how God is love. We wouldn't have known love if love never came for us. And our God is love. That's the reason that he bled for us. We're just saying, hey guys, we gotta, we gotta love somebody. You know what I'm saying? We gotta love somebody. We gotta love somebody. We gotta love somebody. We gotta, I'm sorry. So we out here chilling. It's in a, in a very random location. And um, so far things are good. There are, no, um, there are very few cars on this road, which is good for shooting. And at the end of the day, it's, it's very... Sorry. Hello, mom. How are you? Yes. Yes. Can I, can I call you back later? I'm in a, I'm in a shoot. So, what is next for Julian Roberts? Um, well, this is 2018 and I'll be graduating from Rayma Bible Training Center. I went to Bible school, not to become a pastor if that's what you're thinking, but I basically went there to like learn more about God and also just to use that knowledge in um, the music, in the music, you know, just to bless somebody, just to bless somebody. And um, what you can expect from me, guys, is a whole lot of music, a whole lot of random stuff on the internet because I, I, what my biggest goal is, is just for God to use every single bit of me, um, the imperfections, the, the good things, and just bless somebody out there, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, um, more music, you can expect more songs. I'm a storyteller, so I like to tell, I like to tell things that I have been through or that I have seen firsthand, so you can expect that. 2019, I am working on an EP, yes. So you can be on the lookout for that. All right, guys, thank you so much once again for voting for me on uh, thenatives.com. Thank you so much for the votes um, for Four Letter Word. And yes, I am Julian Robertson. I am complete. Yes, be on the lookout for more songs, um, 
more awesome. Speaking of, wait, speaking of songs, don't go anywhere because I am about to share a song that hasn't yet been released, but yeah, feel free to just check it out and let me know what you think about it. I've been looking for some peace for the mind Having trouble sleeping at night I try to find myself in the wrong things But that ain't no good I'm learning that self-sacrifice Is the way that you have designed It's for me to find my true self So in you I'll confide Oh, what good is it if I Gain everything that I desire but in return, just end up losing myself to the world. So I'll hold and shift my eyes off of me onto Jesus Christ. In you, I know I'll find all I'll ever need. With my hopes and my goals, with my life, I scream out, take the wheel, take the wheel of my life. Self helps, no help at all. So I cry out to you, take the wheel, take the wheel of my life. And times get crazy, let's just face it. With all sorts of trials, let's get us shaken. But remember what Jesus said I will never leave you, no abandon you. Oh no, what a shepherd we have, how he gave all he had out of love. Oh my. Oh my, oh my, if following Jesus is crazy, then tell the whole world I am, yeah. It ain't about who I be, nor the reality is he loves me for me unconditionally. And that'll never change, his love remains the same. With my hopes and my goals, with my life, I scream out, take the wheel, take the wheel of my life. Self helps, no help at all. So I cry out to you, take the wheel, take the wheel of my life. Hey, cause I've been looking for some peace of mind, having trouble sleeping at night. Try to find myself in the wrong things. 